I could eat one cake every day. It's a carrot cake. And I feel good about it too because it's got vegetables in it. Hey guys, it's Tara. Welcome back to another episode of Bake In. Today we're going to be making one of my most favorite cakes in the entire world, carrot cake. So let's get started. All right, so first up, what we're gonna do is make the wet part of the cake mix. So I've got a bowl here, and to that we're gonna add some white sugar, light brown sugar here. It's pretty much equal parts, half cup, half cup. So I've got oil, and what oil does here is it makes for a really, really moist cake, and I think that's probably why I love a carrot cake, because it is really moist and tender, and that's what the oil does. It looks like a lot of oil, but you need it, so don't do it with butter. Please don't make a carrot cake with butter. It's like a sin. And then to those just beautiful eggs. And just give these a whisk until they're nice and smooth. So again, as you can see, I've got everything prepped ahead of time, measured out, so it's just quick go, 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 and then it gets right in the oven, and it just seems like it goes that much faster, that much calmer, and baking is that easy. So to this, I'm gonna add a little bit of vanilla. I'm just gonna get my sieve out. So we're going to use a sieve for the flour so that there's no clumps again, and then it's evenly distributed and nice and light. Just plain all-purpose flour. And I'm putting cinnamon. So traditionally, carrot cake has always been a spice cake. And the spices that are normally in it are like cinnamon, nutmeg, ginger. So kind of play around with it to your own preference of what spices you like. I love cinnamon and nutmeg. So those are the two spices I'm putting in this one. And we've got baking soda as a leavening agent. Flower clouds. Lovely. I'm gonna add some salt and the nutmeg I was talking about. So I use, like to use fresh nutmeg because it's really fragrant, getting really nice fresh spices. But if you've got canned or jarred stuff, that's fine too, whatever you prefer, just a bit. And this is called um, a rasp, which is probably one of my most favorite tools in the kitchen, the microplane as well. I use it for grating cheese, spices, garlic, ginger, whole thing. So make yourself get one of these, they're amazing. You can see it's a really easy batter to come together. Yeah, I'm gonna switch to a spatula so I can fold in, because I don't want to overwork the gluten in the flour, because I want it to still be quite a tender cake, right? Cool. And then we're gonna go ahead and add carrots. The main ingredient, the star of the show, my favorite. I like to grate it so that they're long strands. I'm very particular about grating things. Even cheese has to be long strands of cheese. That way, they're also thin enough if you grate them that they will cook as the cake is baking. You don't want them to be too thick that you're also trying to cook carrot. The cake isn't in there long enough to bake to cook the carrot. So make sure it's a nice fine grate. You'll be good to go because it'll get nice and tender then. So add the carrots. And this is just about two carrots grated. It's about a cup and a half. And I'm a purist when it comes to carrot cake. I don't like anything added to the cake. No nuts, definitely no raisins, and definitely not pineapple. It tastes nice, but I find it gets too moist, mushy, and like, it's just not the right fit for me. But if that's your jam, go for it, do whatever you want. I'm just pure carrot and spice, and then at the end, nuts on top. Just fold this through. And the carrots are gonna lend their own little bit of sweetness and a bit of moisture as well, so it's gonna be delicious. Super, super simple. And while you're doing this, make sure that your oven is preheated to 180, uh, 160 if you have a fan. The rack should be in the middle of the oven. So there we go, got some delicious cake batter. So what we're gonna do now is pour it into a prepared cake tin. All right, so what I've got here is a eight inch spring form cake tin, but you can use any eight inch tin that you want. It doesn't have to be spring form. It's just what I have, and I like that it's easier to kind of take it out. And what I've done to it, you can see it's got some flour in it. So I have greased it with some butter, put down a piece of parchment paper on the bottom right here, and then I covered the whole thing in flour and just kind of dusted it around and then banged it so that there was no excess flour in the tin. And what this is gonna ensure is that the cake comes out really smoothly without it sticking anywhere. Make sure you always grease, line, and flour your cake tins because you never want to mess with cake, getting it out at least. And then we'll pour the batter right in the middle, scrape it all in, and that's it. And now we're gonna take this to bake in a preheated oven until it's done. And now we wait. Look at that. Comes out clean, done. I just want to show you guys why it's so important to grease and line your tins. So what I'm going to do is release it, and you'll see it just slides right off. I didn't even have to scrape the sides, nothing. It's clean. So we're just going to let this cool while we make the icing. 
right, let's make the frosting. So I am not a fan of frosting or icing by any means. And the only one that I actually really kind of enjoy, just kind of, is the cream cheese icing because it's not so sweet. And this one in particular isn't too sweet, which is great. And we're gonna use some brown sugar to give a little bit more of like a caramelly flavor rather than just icing sugar, which is too sweet for me. A little bit of butter, salt, and some lemon just to brighten it up and it also complements carrot cake really well. So first up, we've got some soft cream cheese here. I'm gonna add some butter, the light brown sugar that I was talking about. And what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna run my kitchen here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Sorry about that. All right, and to that, I'm gonna also add a little bit of salt and then just a little bit of lemon zest. And I'm using, again, that microplane, creating some nice ribbons of lemon zest. So I'm gonna do a half a lemon here. Perfect. And then the juice of half of the lemon. Make sure you put your hand in so you're not getting any seeds in there. Nobody wants a seedy icing. Fabulous. And now my handy dandy hand mixer. Give it a mix. You want to get it uh, nice, light and airy. And then we're just going to pop this in the fridge until we're ready to ice the carrot cake. So that needs to cool completely until we're ready to ice it. Otherwise, it's going to be a melted mess. It smells delicious. You can smell the lemon. Oh, it's so nice. Mm, not too sweet at all. It's perfect. All right, you guys, this is it. The cake is completely chilled now, so the icing won't melt when I put it on, and I've just taken the icing out of the fridge. We're ready to ice this guy. Beautiful cake. I love carrot cake because it also has this like crust on top, like this like sugary crust. I don't know why, it just does. Mine does at least, but. All right, and then we've got our delicious, not too sweet, lemony cream cheese brown sugar icing. All right, let's put the last of the icing on here. And then, just smooth it out. It's as easy as that. It can be rustic, you can do it smooth, whichever way you prefer to present it. I'm gonna do it with some swirls up top. Whatever you want, you know? Have fun with it. It's your cake. Perfect. I'm happy with that. I don't want to touch it anymore, otherwise it's gonna go forever. And like I said before, I don't like any nuts or anything in my carrot cake but I do love toasted pecans on top. They just add this really nice crunch and toasty flavor. I also just really love toasted pecans. They're one of my favorite nuts. Mm, super delicious, quite subtle, so they really complement the carrot cake as well and the lemon, so I'm just gonna put those around the edge. You can double this recipe and make a two-layer cake if you'd like. You can even make this into cupcakes, actually. My most fond memory of carrot cake is my mom used to bring carrot cake cupcakes to school when we had like bake sales and stuff, and they were such a hit, so delicious. I'm pretty sure that's when my love for carrot cake started. Woohoo! It's cake time! Best time of the day. Look at this. Glorious, moist, delicious. And the cream cheese icing just sets on top. It's perfect. It's not too much, not overkill by the looks of it. And didn't run over. It's just, this is perfection in my books. All right, let's give it a taste. See nice, lots of carrots in it. All right. Ooh. You can taste the cinnamon, you can taste the nutmeg, carrots, the really, really tender cake. So good, and I mean, the icing doesn't overpower it with any sweetness, which is what I love. So it gives you that tang from the cream cheese and a little bit of lemon. Oh, I'm gonna get some pecan in this now. Mm. Perfect tea time cake. You guys saw it didn't take too long to put together. Super easy, minimal ingredients, absolutely delicious. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of Bake In. Stay tuned for next week and uh, we'll make something else completely delicious. Oh, so good. I think I might eat the whole slice. The pecans actually really do it for me. If I could eat one cake every day, it'd be carrot cake. And I'd feel good about it too because it's got vegetables in it.